Hello guys, welcome to my new video. My name is Nijat Ibrahimli and in this video, I am gonna show to make this animation with Duke Basil 2 and After Effects. Let's just start it. So, vectors from philippic.com, I will add the online link and project files. First step, select this background and lock layer, select this shadow, again lock layer, and select this right hand, go to solo, and go to select this puppet pin icon, make one puppet here one here and one here let's click selection tool and go to here change puppet engine legacy click ok then unsolo select this left hand go to solo and go to puppet pin again make one puppet here one here and one here click selection tool and unsolo then change puppet engine legacy close settings and select this body, go to solo, go to pan behind, move the anchor point down and click selection tool and solo. Select this eye bronze and eyes, modes, nose, air left, air right, pair onto this head. Select this head, go to solo, move the anchor point down, click selection tool and unsolo. And select this head, pair onto this body and let's select this body press air let's see how to work it okay nice so let's go to window open duke basil 2 and select this left hand go to fx control select this puppet and go to click this icon for rigging and click add bones okay we have three bones let's parent select this puppet pin 3 parent 2 select this puppet pin 2 parent 1 and select these three puppets, go to again Duik and click Auto Rig IK. Okay, nice. Select this controller. Let's see. Nice. So, let's select this puppet pin 1 and pair onto this body. Then select this body, press L, let's change the rotation. Okay, nice. So, let's select these three puppets and click Lock and click toggle switch modes let's click this icon this icon and this icon and go to here click this icon for hide all layers okay select this right hand select this puppet on fx control and go to click add bones okay again we have three bones let's parent it select this puppet pin 3 parent 2 select this 2 parent 1 and select this puppet pin 1, pair onto this body, and select these three puppets, go to Duik and click Auto Rig IK. Okay, again select this controller, let's see. Okay, nice. Let's close controller settings and select these three puppets, click this lock and click this icon for hide layers. Okay, so let's close Duik window and select work area for second press n in the keyboard and go to first second select this body press air and go to five keyframes make rotation keyframe and change rotation minus three or minus six okay and go to 10 keyframe change six Let's select keyframes, frames, make easy. Let's see. Okay, and go to 10 keyframe frame again. Select first keyframe, frame, control C, control V, and select this keyframes. frames. Move to first second. Let's see. Okay, and let's select this keyframes. frames. Hold Alt, move to right. And let's select work area. Okay. So, select these controllers and press p make new position keyframe, frame and let's move to like this these hands okay and go to center select these controllers move to right and this move to right and go to last keyframe. frame select for keyframes, frames control c control v and this control c control v Let's select shape frames, make easy, and let's see. Nice. 
So select this body, hold shift, press P, make new position keyframe, and go to center. Let's move to down this body. Again, go to 10 keyframe, select first keyframe, control C, control V, and select this position keyframes, make easies, and hold Alt, move to right. Let's see. Okay, nice. So let's select this here, press air, change rotation and make rotation keyframe, go to center, change rotation 10, again go to last keyframe, select first keyframe, control C, control V and select keyframes make easy ease. let's see, okay nice. So select this head, hold shift, press P, make new position keyframe and go to here. Move to down this head. Go to last shape frame. Select first shape frame. Control C, Control V, and select shape frames. Make easy. And let's move to left this shape frame. Let's see. Okay, select this three shape frame. Control C and go to last position shape frame. Select this and Control V. Let's see. Nice. So select these eyes. Press S. Click this icon. And in this time, make new scale shape frame. Go to three shape frame. Change scale 5. Again, go to 3 keyframe. 1, 2, 3. Change 100. Select keyframes. Make easy. Let's see. Nice. So, this is loop animation. We can make this loop animation with 5 seconds or 10 seconds. Nice. Let's select these eyebrows. And in this time, press P. Make new position keyframe. And go to 5 keyframes, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, move to down these eyebrows and go to here, make new position keyframe, go to 5 keyframes again, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and select first keyframe, control C, control V, select keyframes, make easy. let's see, okay nice, and we can animate this airs, select this left air and right air, go to solo and Go to palm behind, select this left air, move to here, this palm behind, and select this right air, move to left, click selection tool, okay, and select this airs, let's unsolo, press air, make rotation keyframe, and go to here, let's change rotation like this, and like this, go to last keyframe, select first keyframes, control C, control V. And select shape frames to make easy. Then select these ears. Move to back this head layer. Okay, let's see. Nice. So we can make this loop animation. We have two ways. One way is with expressions. Let's control A and close these settings. So select this body, press U. First way. Hold Alt, click this icon, and go to click play button, property, and loop out duration. For done expression, click this empty area, and let's see. Okay, we have loop animation with three chain frames, and hold Alt, click this rotation, go to again play button, property, and loop out duration. Again, done expression, click this empty area. Let's see. Okay, nice. So I want to show next way for loop animation. Go to project, select this kit and move to inside this icon for create new composition and open kit composition. Let's select this body, press U, go to here, press N for select work area. Let's see. Okay, this is our loop animation and right mouse, select work area back to cheat to composition and select this cheat composition right mouse time and enable time remapping okay then hold alt click this icon time remap and go to play button property and select this loop out like this click here and for done expression click this empty area then change time duration this composition and let's play okay 
go to here and let's press B right mouse select composition let's see okay this is our loop animation okay this is our loop animation so thank you for watching my video and don't forget to subscribe channel like video and please follow me on instagram good luck